So if you have a pure PHP project and you want to run it in a Docker container by using a Docker Compose, you've come into the right place. Stick with me to find out more. What's up guys, Medium Guy here. In this video, we'll see how to dockerize a pure PHP project with no specific framework. And we'll see how to run that project inside the Docker environment without even needing to install Apache or PHP in our local machine. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So in this video, I'm going to assume that your PHP project does not need any installation, any packages or anything else. And it has no framework, as I said, it is just pure PHP. And of course, later in the next videos, we'll see how to dockerize those projects that has frameworks on them and they need installation of some packages, but they will be in, in other videos. In this one, we're just going to see how to dockerize the pure simple PHP project that we have. So as you can see over here, we have some files, some PHP files and index.php file, which includes the dot slash app.php, which is exactly located in the same exact directory. And it just echoes some hard coded string with some variables that are predefined by the PHP Apache server. So it'll just concatenate this hard coded HTML string with the server address and the server port and we'll be actually seeing the server and the port number that the environment inside the Docker container has been created for this project to be run. And then we have a simple PHP info which will print out all the information about the Apache server, the PHP versioning and any other stuff that we'll be checking to see if it's correct and matching our Apache and PHP versions. So the app.php is a very, very simple file, which just echoes something from the app.php file. So in order to run this very basic project as a Docker container, I'm going to create a new file i'll name it docker compose it'll be dot yaml or just simply yml i'll hit enter my file is created the first thing i'm going to define its version i'll pass 3.3 .3 as the version next i'll say services inside this i'll name my first service i'll say php app the image that i'll be using will be Apache PHP with a version. So if I say Docker images in the terminal, in here I'll see that I have a PHP image that I can use to run this project in it. So it'll be PHP with the version of 8.09, which will have Apache on it. So next thing I'm going to define the ports that I want to expose. So I'll be able to access from the outside in my host machine. So I'll map the 8080 port to the 80 port inside the container, which is the default port that is exposed outside from this very image. And the next and the last thing I need to do in here in order to be able to run my project is to actually point the project files inside the docker container that I want to create so I'll be able to actually run that project. So I'll say volumes and I'll map dot slash app because my docker compose file is located exactly where the app project exists to inside the container with the path of slash where slash ww slash HTML. So this basically will try to mount the dot slash app directory inside the container with the path of var www.html, which is the directory that the Apache web server will check. And if there exists any files, it'll try to serve them. So that's almost it. We have 
the basic configuration to be able to run our project the only thing that I need to do is say docker compose up but I have to make sure that I am in the exact same directory that my docker compose exists so I'll move to the apache.php if I hit L here I have my docker compose file so I'll say docker compose up dash d so it throws an error complaining about the versioning and in the versioning section I have an extra dot so I'm going to remove it save it again docker compose up and as I expect I want the docker engine to create a docker container with an attached network so if I say docker compose ps I'll be able to see the containers that are being run from this docker compose file and as I can see I have a container with the port 8080 mapped to the 80 inside the container also if I say docker compose logs I'll be able to access the logs that the containers of this docker compose file has created actually my container is up and running right now if I go to the browser and check the localhost port 8080 I should be able to access the PHP project that is running as a docker container so if I say localhost 8080 and in here I see the echo from the app file which is included in the main file the HTML that has got rendered and the IP and the port which is the IP and port of the local docker network and as the last thing I can see the output for the PHP info function that I called in the end of my PHP script file and as I can see over here the PHP version is exactly the same as the image that I created my container from and the rest I have some information about the PHP and also the Apache 2 handler the Apache web server version that is running inside the container and some other stuff that the PHP info will actually output and it'll be actually handy for development purposes and also for deployment purposes so that's it for dockerizing a very simple php project of course in the next videos i'll try to demonstrate the frameworks of php will be dockerized like for example the laravel framework and that's it i hope you learned something new in this video and also don't forget to watch my other videos in this video series i have the dockerization for different technologies that you might need for your development and deployment purposes so don't forget to like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos